I'm Dr. Cihan Kırçıl, orthopedic spine surgeon from Turkey. I'm Jan Silva, uh, orthopedic spine surgeon from Brazil. Welcome to the Expert Insights series where we interview worldwide expert spine surgeon. And in this interview, we are honored to be joined by Professor Jin Sung Kim, world renowned pioneer and leader in minimally invasive spinal surgery, navigation guided spinal surgery, and endoscopic spinal surgery. He's also interested in robotic and AR guided spinal surgery. He is professor in neurosurgery at Catholic University of Korea a co-president of Society for Minimally Invasive Spine Surgery and a member of AO Spine MIS Task Force. Dr. Kim is author of numerous books, articles and manuscripts in international peer-reviewed journals and is also working as a deputy editor of Global Spine Journal and Neurospine. So uh, if we are ready, let's start our interview. Dr. Kim, welcome to our interview. Um, before beginning, could you tell us your full name, specialty, and uh, full current position, please? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you so much for a uh, warm welcoming. And I'm very excited to have and I'm happy <clears throat> to introduce the myself for the AO Spine Young Member. You guys are future in our spine community. So yes, I <clears throat> my name is the uh, Jin Song Kim. My name, Korean name, right? I'm practicing at the Seoul Saint Mary Hospital, the Catholic University of Korea. The Catholic University of Korea has the eight affiliated hospital across the South Korea Peninsula. And the, the, my hospital, the Seoul St. Mary Hospital, <clears throat> is, <clears throat> sorry, it's the biggest, one of the biggest hospitals in South Korea. Uh, my specialty is the spine. I'm neurospine, neurosurgeons, but I only have been doing the spine surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, and specialty is the, as you introduce me, uh, minimal invasive spine surgery. Among the minimal invasive surgery, you know, the, a lot of the scopes and uh, there, uh, I do the MIS fusion, lateral, anterior, and posterior, and also do the endoscope, sort of the different kind of endoscope surgery, over bipolar, et cetera. And also I'm doing the, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the navigation. Yeah, that's my brief introduction for myself. Perfect, thank you very much. Yeah. And thank could you, you share a, a, a little bit uh, your roots and uh, um, what, what are your roots? Well, yeah, uh, so how can I say about my roots? So uh, I graduated medical school seven nineteen ninety seven, and it is almost right now twenty seven years ago. Right? <clears throat> My hometown. I used to be live in Seoul, uh, the capital city of South Korea. But uh, right now I'm living in one of the the small city around the Seoul. Uh, I have uh, three kids, the, the first two daughters and the one son. First, the, the oldest, oldest the daughter is 20, sometimes, you know, the, the daddies forget the, the kids. Forget the age, yeah. 20, 25, 25. 25 years old. My youngest is 20. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very common. Yeah, the you know the family name Kim is the largest number of family name in Korea. Okay, good. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, where did you train and uh, when did you complete your residency? 
<clears throat> I graduated the, my university, Catholic University of Korea, 2000, uh, 1997. And the, you know, the, we, Korean demand, healthy men, we have the obligation. So that is the military service for, for countries. We have, the, for doctors, the service time is three years, right? So okay. I graduated the medical school. I entered the military service. <clears throat> I spent there three years. And the, after that, I uh, got trained myself by intern. We have the one year program for intern training, internship, <clears throat> four year training <clears throat> of the uh, specialty, my neurosurgery. And then we have the two year fellowship. During the, over the time of the duration, so I uh, the stop one year. I, I work. I stopped one year because I wanted to uh, have the more time with my family. So it was the 2006 when I the, finished the, all the <clears throat> resident program. A little bit late uh, compared to my friends, right? Uh, without any the stop the process. Uh, my friends uh, started the fellows in 2004 and five, but I started 2006. But it's it's not the big deal in my in our long life, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, um, could you share how to started in spine surgery uh, and why did you choose this field? What do you think about the <clears throat> pros and cons of becoming a spine surgeon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's the, it's one of the common question, common question, mm -hmm. not only for me, but also other, the, the big guys as well. But you expect something special, but actually there's no something special at all, right? <laughs> because the, how I studied in spine surgery. So why did I? I did the, I choose the spine surgery in my uh, life. And actually when I graduate the, finished the resident training, I already have three keys, right? My big concern <clears throat> was the, uh, kind of the daddy's job, right? I have mm -hmm. to care my wife. I had to care my three kids, you know, the caring the three kids <clears throat> as as the as a husband, as a daddy, is big stress always, right? So yeah. when I started <clears throat> resident, so my dream, my vision actually was being uh Neurovascular surgeons, not spine surgeons. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. When I faced the reality, oh my gosh, I have three kids. I don't have, I have to have the more time with my kids because the, you know, the, their life, the youngest time is so important for their life, right? So <clears throat> being a vascular surgeon in Korea is very, uh, complicated, right? No yeah. personal life. It actually, fat being a fellow in the part of the neurovascular department is something like another life of resident training, right? Mm -hmm. so, there are a lot yes. of the emergencies, a lot of the jobs. Uh, I have to spend more time in the university hospital. So at the time, <clears throat> I discussed my, my senior professor. He is a tumor surgeon, one of the famous tumor surgeons. And the, he heard of my the situation, so he recommend the one hospital. One hospital is the private and uh, spine specialty hospital. 
one of the well-known hospitals, Uri de Los Pine Hospital. It's my, yeah. the, it's not my decisions. I just uh, thought of, you know, situation at the time. Yeah. I tried mm -hmm. to best to <laughs> do something good job for my family, my, my the kids. So that is, that is why I started I started my job in private, the very well known the hospital, fine hospital, great hospital. So for you, yeah, first of all, the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I the, talk about this kind of the my background in aerospine. Yeah, we interview. saw that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I expected this kind of a life. 20 years ago, never, but the most important uh, things in our life is trying the best, trying the best, not only for your, yourself, but also your friend, your family, your flag, even for your country. Yeah, yeah. that's very important. Yeah. And sometimes yeah, maybe we don't think yeah. about that. So it's a good point that you remind us this aspect. So. Thank you very much. But 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 sometimes but sometimes uh, the uh, you didn't <coughs> choose the spine surgery. Spine surgery chooses you. In my yeah. opinion, <laughs> <laughs> something like this. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so another question for the professors. Thinking about your uh, professional journey, who inspired you the most to to become the surgeon that you are now? Yeah, I can say. I cannot say what just one person because the during my the career different uh, life different uh, job different places the every the important the mentors inspired me a lot so I can say during my recent training there were, we had the big name surgeons uh, uh, named C K Park. The Korean name Chungun Park. He was the for as an Asian person, he was the first the president of the ISIS 2009 to 10. ISIS. <clears throat> and he, he founded the COMIS. COMIS is the biggest MIS meeting society in Korea. Before COMIS, no the MIS society in Korea. The COMIS was founded in 2002. Yeah, he inspired me at the time a lot. But <clears throat> when I finished the resident training, as I told you, I uh, joined the Uldal Hospital. There are a lot of the uh, good endoscopic surgeons there. One of the uh, mentors in Uldal Hospital. Uh, Dr. Kon Choi, he, he is the one of the famous famous the endo surgeons in Korea, not only in Korea but also in the, uh, yeah India, in the, the United States, in Brazil. He traveled Brazil, India, and in United States a lot, and and in many he inspired. He actually taught me about the transfer endoscope, interleaving endoscope, discective procedures. You know, the, at the time, 20 years ago, the most popular endoscope surgery is the discective, not the decompression. So I learned the basic, the skill set from uh, Dr. Kwon <clears throat> And yeah. then when I grew up a little bit, uh, so I met the very famous, the Korean American spine surgeon, he, he played, uh, he did a great job in major spine society, NAS and SMIS. His name is Dr. Chol Kim. He used to be uh, the professor at UC, UC Stanford, Stanford, probably Stanford or UCLA. I, I, I don't remember. Dr. Chol Kim uh, is very academic, uh, spine surgeons. And yeah, it is at the time, see, I, I 
he he inspired me very very much. The, mm -hmm. the meeting, the main spine meeting, I saw his presentation. I tried to learn his the uh, presentation skill and how he uh, so look at the patient, how he manages the patient problem. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Once I awesome. I was I started my international career, and then the, the professor Roger Hartle in Cornell University in New York, he uh, actually I, I, I think that he is the my mentor. He inspired mm -hmm. me. He he is not endo guy, but uh, he. He introduced, he brought me in the field of endoscopic spine surgery. Uh, at the meeting of the Hill Spine, at the meeting of the NAS, something like that. Okay. Another the, yeah. uh, big name surgeon to speak guy is Jeffrey Wong. He, he's not the endosurgeon, he's not being married with his spine surgeon, but as a uh, present chairperson of EO Spine International and the NAS. He is very humble. He is very the open mindset to embrace the different kind of skill set for young generation, next generation like you. So <clears throat> I have learned a lot from many persons. You don't have to uh, follow just one single person. And every uh, the Absolutely. even mentors they have the good and sometimes bad job, right? <laughs> good yeah. personality is some, some kind of the uh, raw temper as well, right? So okay. that's my uh, current, yeah. Interesting. So uh, next question, uh, taking into account that you, you've worked in different uh, settings, do you think that the health system features like public versus private can influence the work for spine surgeons? Yeah, sure. I think the, I'm very unique person because I used to work a private the hospital and moved to the universe hospital. Uh, so in, in the United States, it is very the common situation moving from private to universe, from universe to private. But in our countries, Korea is extremely there. It's, there's a big the huddle between the private uh, and the university. So, <clears throat> and the there are uh, patients maximum are also different, right? In the private hospital, usually the patients are not so complicated. It's a simple disc disease and spinal sensory low grade, the spondylitis is not the, so complicated in the field in the at the hospital of the private setting. But university, the hospital, the every single patient I have met are revision case and complication case and junction problem and the a lot of the medical comorbidity patient have so but in my mindset when i you walked the walked at the private hospital it's my the surgery is very simple intertalamic discectomy transfer discectomy Raminotomy, MIT lip, and the single level lateral inner body and cervical SCDF, something like that. But universal hospital, uh, they're different, they're complicated. So, but in my mind, I always try to find solution with the minimal invasive uh, scope. Uh, mm -hmm. So with that, with this kind, this kind of the mindset, uh, I have been able to find a little bit the different solution. That kind of the mindset eventually have driven me to find to find me to bring something new kind of the skill set. Yeah. So I sometimes I enjoy 
the the surgery, not only in spine surgery, but also orthopedic surgery, kind of the brain surgery as well. So, you know, so at the other, the loom, the whole person loom in the, the general surgery, orthopedic surgery, there are something there. You can bring these, those skills and can bring those kind of the different uh, stop in your for your spine surgery. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. I'm great. not sure it's correct answer for your question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Absolutely. great. Yes. It's yeah. the uh, The next question is uh, regarding your most memorable cases. Uh, as we know, every professional has one memorable case. Uh, could you share a bit about? Uh, yours, your unforgettable case, and the lessons you have learned from that. Oh, yeah, actually, a lot. The some kind of devastating complications, some kind of the the happy memory. Yeah. So, but I'm gonna share the more re the this case is uh, my aunt. My aunt uh, is still, my mom uh, age is 80, 85. My aunt mm -hmm. is 87, I think 80, 88, almost 89, something like that. I have to treat my aunt with the medication osteoporosis, you know, so she has the, <clears throat> Advanced stage of osteoporosis, T score is almost minus four zero. Oh. So, uh, uh, press kind of medication every six months, something like that. The MRI, there's a spinal sensors. She has great almost D, but the, my aunt didn't complain of any the complication. Probably it was uh, limited to their activity because of all the age, right? Just the yep. occupational, the intermittent, the actual, and the report pain, that's all. And the main problem was the spinal, you know, osteoporosis. I didn't prescribe the painkiller. Uh, but so my aunt, husband, he was retired, the surgeon, and the, the, his family are actually free for getting uh, the medical service in the military hospital. Right? But the exact story, but the, my aunt uh, met some doctors, spine surgeons, probably at the time she had the, some pain and the referred pain and some sort of radiating pain. So, that surgeon has actually <laughs> performed the clip surgery, postural lumbar innovative, very classic man. So my the, my aunt, my the the my cousins didn't inform me about the because uh, the I don't know the situation, but actually once a couple of months later, so my cousin called me, hey, your aunt has uh, some problem. What's that? So I found that once the fusion done, you know, the odd, 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 odd problem, surgical procedures, I cannot blame the surgical procedures, but the problem happened because of osteoporosis and old age, very senile, my aunt is very senile and a very the skinny patient. So she had, she had the fracture at the advanced junction level, fracture and infection, <laughs> fracture and infection. Uh, so, right. so, wow. so almost the, 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 you know, OSS3, OSS3 score was almost 80, more than 80, I think. Uh -huh. the pain score is nine to 10 this time. So transfer to my universe hospital. So I did operation because the infection control was mandatory. So I put the pedicle screw with the Parkinson manner. 
epithelial pores and the infection, the discitis happen at the cranial at junction level. I uh, <clears throat> tubular decompression, the abscess removal, and provenotum and vasectomy at that single point. And then patient, the, my aunt didn't complain. It's improved very well, right? So discharge uh, two or three weeks later, uh, x-ray, routine x-ray, I found, pull out the screw. I extend the screw again, and then pull out again. I extend oh. it again. So eventually, so I did the three times operation, right? Mm -hmm. So once really we started too, the uh, bad decisions, so you know the, the kind of the cascade yeah. visual cycle happened right yeah you have to so, look at the right this is a, one of the recent uh, memory yeah it's really so awesome what, yeah what about the infection uh, except the uh the, the script out yeah infection actually control the screw pull out, but uh, second and third surgery, before the second and third surgery, infection was controlled well. So at the yeah, time, okay. osteoporosis, mm -hmm. I tried to put the good alignment of road contour, but uh, because of the advanced stage of osteoporosis, the kind of the mechanical failure. Yeah. Okay. Thank but. you, thank you for thank you for sharing this <laughs> with this case. But it's for sure for you a memorable case. So thank you. And uh, another question that is a little bit different and is more about the EU spine. So you are currently a faculty member of EU spine, and um, yeah. it is important for a spine surgeon to be a part of an academic community like EU uh, spine and. Uh, for you, uh, in which way the AO spine uh, community influenced your your career? Yeah, I think the you know there's only one single the society we can call it international and global. That that is the AO spine. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to start my career as a member of the AO spine MIS task force. It is. I started 2018, 2018, uh, six years ago. Right? So, okay. you know, the AO spine used to be very conservative. It was, AO started with the trauma first, right? The spine is just over 20 years, right? Last year, 2013, we had the 20 year ceremony. Anyway, so it was fine. We used to be very conservative. Uh, cons the, the, we, it was fine. Have dealt with the spine issue, degenerative, infection, trauma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there, there was no content of the MIS. But you know, the O spine love to hear of the members opinion right members of the regularly send email for a man to collect the data about a man need from their AO spine member right so <clears throat> probably uh AO spine uh, has had decided to embrace the more content of mis so mm -hmm. that is why the it was by MIS task force was created 2018, driven by the Roger Hunter, you know, one of the my mentor. He, mm -hmm. he yeah. invited me, invited me to join the Airspine task force. Actually, the task force is not a permanent the organization; it's the kind of the temporary organization. Okay. So we have the. The six <clears throat> members of the MIS task force has been dedicated to develop content 
to circulate the knowledge of the different kind of the MI skills. Now, you know, the main members are getting all together. So we are uh, developing the, the second generation uh, to take over probably within a couple of years ago. So I think the airspine is one of actually the 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 unique only international the society who, which is impacting the globally. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Next next question. Uh, so you're you are a worldwide recognized research and educational leader in spine surgery and to what extent it is important for a spine surgeon to do also research and teaching i'm so flattered but uh i cannot agree with the word research and educational leader <clears throat> anyway uh I think the educational for, for my life, recently one of my the the, the contents I have been uh, learning is kind of the new technology. You know, the right now we have the another we are facing another revolution, right? So that is the artificial intelligence. Right. Yeah. I'm not using the chatbot. Uh, I'm not using the kind of the uh, open AI source. I'm sorry, but I, I I try to learn so how the how the other field of technology, the the cell phone, the semiconductors, and the EV car. They have been changing rapidly so fast. So every engineer expert, worldwide expert, they agree with. Within a couple of years, we we are we probably face the another level, another level of the evolution. Right? So medical field is is a little bit behind the schedule compared to that of the technology, but so I I have been so surprised daily news with the optimus kind of the the AI robot that Tesla have been developing. Look at the rocket. <laughs> you know the we we know that the this term rocket science. Rocket science is too complex, too difficult the science, but so kind of the uh, unbelievable situation is, is being happened right now. So I think the we casually can predict unpredictable revolution will be happening in the field of the medicine, in the field of the surgical field as well, surely. Mm -hmm. So that's why one of the, my interests field in this yeah. case. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. The next question is uh, yeah. about your achievements in your career. Uh, what is the achievement you are most proud of? Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, so actually, the before 2017, you know, 2012 to 2017, 18, 19. Uh, probably I am the surgeons who visit uh, China a lot of the time, so many times. Every month, every other weeks, I visit China to teach the endoscope to circulate the knowledge. You know, <clears throat> regarding the uh, biblic publication, bibliographic, the uh, academic paper 
geographic distribution. You know, China has published the immense number of the publication regarding, regardless of the quality of the paper. So that kind of the, the uh, exponential increase of the article at uh, uh, the academic publication happened 2013, 14, 15, 16, right now, like this color. So, so I partially, I believe, I want, want to believe the, uh, I, my contribution also act for kind of to improve on the publication in China. Mm -hmm. So that is one of my, the proud in my the life. And the, yeah. but, if I have to choose a single uh, career and kind of the achievement, yes, it was the, uh, with the joining the Aerospine Task Force. So probably I have been uh, able to change the world a little bit before, right? So because the, we have the great, the railroad uh, named the Aerospine. Once I joined the Aerospine uh, train, I have been uh, able to change the surgeon's mindset and the field of the business as well. That's my the achievement I am so proud of. Perfect. Great. And uh, if you could turn back, uh, uh, what advice you will give you to you young? So what uh, would you have done differently? <clears throat> Answer is pretty much simple. Healthy, I'm gonna be more muscular guy, I feel, <laughs> but I'm a little bit late, but I want to try it. <laughs> so yeah, you yeah. suggest more, this, more, this more <laughs> exercise, more workout uh, during the... Yeah. Easy, easy life before starting uh, pushing with the publication surgery. So in med school or also <laughs> before med school. <laughs> and actually, I'm in, in staying in Los Angeles for my three months vacation. So it's good for for workout every day. But it's not <laughs> easy to work exercise every day. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, so, uh, how did you start your uh, spine endoscopic uh, journey? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I already explained a little bit about this. So, you know, the, uh, the original hospital, spine hospital, is, is the biggest in single institute that is actually dedicate to develop the endoscopic spine surgery and MI surgery. So I don't have to think of any kind of the specific mindset for endoscopic spine surgery because all the surgeons there, they, are, they were doing the endoscope discectomy, they're doing the MI fusion, MI anterior surgery, the MI thoracic as well. All set <laughs> was there already. So for me, I don't have to think of any specific mindset for endoscopic spine surgery. My career actually started with endoscopic spine surgery. I was very lucky for that. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. And um, and the the next question is uh, quite similar with the previous one. What do you recommend to surgeons who want to start spine endoscopy, like us? Okay, <clears throat> similar question, but I'd like to answer differently. The focusing and hearing. The focusing and hearing, uh, I'd like to say that for uh, MIS and endosurgery, for being a good endosurgeons, for being a good the MI surgeon, we have to have a good ear. Right? Mm -hmm. To yeah. get a, the real problem. So 
we call it the pain generator. Real problem, real spine problem. So what kind of the problem that your patient want to be treated well? Right? So spine is the life <clears throat> long problem. Lifelong problem. So in the early age, it's you know that everybody knows spine is sort of the genetic, right? Close to genetic disease, but even if it's not, even though it is not a pure one. So every patient they started the spinal disease, spinal disease pathway, started the 15 years old, very young age, and 20 and B30 and 40 different spectrum of the spinal pathology. So it is so crucial to find the uh, real problem in that specific moment, right? So that's the mostly important part to being a good spine endosurgeon. Perfect. So cool. one of the additional comment, everybody know the, hey, Luke is the endosurgeon. He always a great fan, fan, <clears throat> fan of the endosurgery. It mm -hmm. can be true, but it cannot be true, right? You might love endosurgery spine surgery, but I suggest don't trust endoscopic surgery in your practice because endoscopic spine surgery is just sort of the tool, right? Mm -hmm. Tool. You can use the different yep. tool and the bigger one and small one and middle size, right? So longer one and the thick and big one. Yeah, back to the fundamental right? as a spine surgeon. That is the indication, surgical indication. And LinkedIn and the, I'm not <clears throat> using the Facebook very well. And LinkedIn, when I look at the LinkedIn, so many the young surgeons, they like to post their the image. They also imagine the fusion, endofusion, unipolar by portal, rattle. But the, when I look at the pre-op X-ray and MRI, so I'm a little bit concerned of that. Is that the real problem solved very well? So most important to being a good surgeon is back to fundamental. That is indication and additional one. Yes, the endosurgery is a currently one of the uh, good uh, the tool for treating your patients. You, you must, I strongly recommend you learn the endospine surgery, but it cannot be a panacea. It's just tool to treat the patient. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. is most, most important. Well, yeah, absolutely perfect. right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the advice. No. Pleasure. Pleasure. So to to the end, let's uh, engage in a quick game in which we ask a question and you, professor, reply with a, a quick and fast answer. Is okay? okay? Is okay for you? Yeah. 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 So, what is your hobby? You know, you should know. I I enjoy hobby. This is coffee from Brazil. Well, <laughs> when I joined the Brazil <laughs> Spine Congress, the friends gave me this coffee. I grind it, it my home, and enjoy right now this coffee. <laughs> okay. Enjoy so it. It's your <laughs> hobby. Uh, and your favorite book? Ah, book. You know, the uh, different. Uh, I'm a big fan of the book, different. Is uh, kind of the marketing, business and marketing. Right? So I love to learn kind of the different mind, different the you know the mindset from the uh, behind beyond the spine. <clears throat> the book uh, different. It, it was the uh, the author is a professor, one of the renowned professors in the field of the marketing and business. Professor Moon, is, she is Korean-American, the, 
the professor in Harvard Medical Business School, that is a different. If you want to be different surgeon, if you want to be the different and excellent spy surgeon, please read and follow the book, different. Different. Good. So what's your favorite sport and tea? It's a good question. So <clears throat> I love baseball. You know, right now, yesterday in Seoul, the, the opening game of Major League Baseball in the United States uh, happened in Seoul. So I love the Harry Dodgers. And the one of Korean defend a uh, team is Dusan Bears. So I, I'm a big fan of the, the baseball. During my stay in LA, I'm going to go to the Dodgers Stadium with my family. Great. And I think that we already know the answer of this question, but uh, what is your favorite surgery? <laughs> uh, favorite surgery? If it's possible, I indication is can can be different, but if it is possible, I gonna do the endoscopic yeah. transforaminal axis, discectomy and foraminal. This is kind of the different measure. It's totally different the surgery compared to the conventional uh, surgery. Okay. And uh, navigation or freehand? Uh, navigation, of course. Navigation. But I respect the freehand, yeah. right? Without freehand technique, navigation can be so successful. Okay. Yeah, great. Um, tubular MIS or endoscopic surgery? Which one is your favorite? Uh, my, I, I do. I love two surgeries, <clears throat> but uh, one of my the paper pending submission, I the evaluate the my all cases, not all. Uh, we have the one year and two year MRI follow up data. So compare, I uh, it investigate the muscle changes between the endoscope between versus the tubular surgery. So the result is endoscope as expected. Endoscope surgery is the least invasive regarding the muscle patterns. So, I love to follow the evidence, but uh, so the evidence also the talk me endoscope surgery is is better than the tubular surgery. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> at the end, uh, a word that for you defines the spine surgery. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> That's one word. Can I find something something interest? <laughs> so it's not easy. This is the so yeah. the spine. You know the complicated. Uh, I gonna I gonna give you one my question for you guys. But I cannot share the answer because of time constraints. Do you know the why the human has the seven cervical spine, twelve thoracic spine? five lumbar spine that's my question please investigate why human has been created having different number of cervical thoracic lumbar and then <laughs> my answer for what that defines a spine surgery uh evolution yeah it's very different difficult to find the correct answer so we are still being under the evolution and we have to find a better answer. Finding better answer. We cannot find the best answer because, yeah, Great. you know, you might understand why I Great. say it like that. I can yeah. say the spine surgery, evolution, find the better answer, not the best. Okay. Perfect. Great. Yep. Really great. So th thank you, th thank you very much for 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 this interview and for so, so also for joining us today. It was a a real source of inspiration and motivation for young surgeon like us, and but also for the all AO Spine Yacht Club community. 
So it has been a true privilege, Professor. Thank you very much.